We are standing here with the exotic Adrian Street and Miss Linda, and we do, in fact, have your music presentation ready, Adrian. Oh, I'm enchanted. I just can't wait to see it again. It's made specially for MTV, you know, and these lucky, lucky people are going to have a chance to have, like, a little preview, you understand. Mm. So, oh, shut up yourself. Oh, ignorant, ignorant people. Okay, well, let's do it right now. Let's take the opportunity to see an original by Adrian Street. Wonderful. Did indeed prove to have some rather unusual facets, Mr. Dillon. You know, Gordon, I feel very, very good today because in recent weeks, <clears throat> the wrestling critics, the so-called wrestling experts, were taking pot shots at me. They thought that I had really, uh, really taken an uncalculated risk in bringing the exotic Adrian Street to the United States. But I had the utmost confidence in this magnificent athlete right from the very beginning. There were several adjustments that had to be made. I did have to hire Mr. Elijah Akeem to safeguard my investment. But when the ultimate confrontation took place, as you just mentioned, it was like a sea of people as we looked out there. It was a tremendous, tremendous evening. And what gave me tremendous gratification what made me realize why Mr. Bill Actor came here from Pro Wrestling Illustrated Magazine and presented me with that beautiful plaque as Manager of the Year. It gave me satisfaction to realize why I'm generally regarded throughout wrestling circles as the greatest mind in professional wrestling today because once again, Gordon Soley, I was right. Because the exotic Adrian Street, four times European champion, the people said, can he stand up to the two-time world champion? What's going to happen when the two most colorful men in wrestling meet? But at the end result, the exotic Adrian Street has something that no one else in the world possesses. And it was at that point, Mr. Soley, the party began. We had the champagne ice down. The courts were flowing. The box of cigars was out there. And we had a party. And I am very graciously willing to share some of that enthusiasm with you. If you want to take the cameras, which they were, to the dressing room, I'm willing to share that scene with you. All right, let's go and watch uh, these uh, comments from uh, the exotic Adrian Street regarding the outcome. I didn't know what was in store for me when I came over here to the United States when, when Mr. J.J. Dillon brought me over here. I've come right across the world, he's, he's brought me. Mr. Elijah, and oh, he, he's, he, he's so big and strong, he makes me feel so big and strong. And today has just got to be the happiest day of my life. Look what I've got. Do you know what this is? <laughs> Do you know what this is? And I would have challenged him. You know, I'm, I'm so happy at this in my trophy case. With my lion's head and tiger's head. All my friends are going to come around, they're going to see it, they're going to laugh, but I'm not satisfied. No way, like that. There's a lot of people with lion's heads and a lot of people with tiger's heads. But this is unique. Yeah. This is unique. No one else has this. And nobody else is going to because I'm not satisfied. I am going to lay claim to all his head. I want to challenge him anywhere, anywhere in the country, anywhere in the world, any arena. Every time I fight him, this fits another little piece of hair for my trophy case. One morning, I'll fight as many times as he wants because he's going to wake up one morning and all he's going to see in the mirror is his big, fat, bald head. I'm going to have all his hair. I do to cut it faster so he can grow it. No two ways. Fantastic. Just look at this. <laughs> it's dirty, but isn't it nice? Well, I was doing again just because I was on my trophies. I wouldn't want my lions or tiger's head to catch anything. The invasion of sartorial splendor, sir. You're so right, Gordon. Absolutely. I couldn't put it better myself. You know, I, I'm like Michelangelo in, in, only in reverse. Now for my surprise. Isn't this beautiful? This is the pink belt. This was, uh, this was commissioned by Princess Diane for myself, the exotic Adrian Street. She got uh, Simon Ward of Piccadilly to put this together. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, it is the pink belt. We have the American flag, the Confederate flag, the American flag, and the Union Jack. But of course, I'm British. I mean, this is the first time in wrestling history that a belt, a championship belt of such prestige has been put together and designed by the British, by the royal family, no less. Oh, and the Queen sort of sends her best regards to you, too, and she hopes that you can make it to uh, Andrew's engagement party. They're having a big garden party, you know. But uh, My it's, best it's, to the it's absolutely fantastic, yes. Well, it is a most unusual belt, and uh, 
I see you have uh, two wrestlers of the uh, the Greek times, of course. Uh, Rico Roman, yes. Yes, uh-huh. and of and, course, uh, a picture of yourself in the center. Well, who else, Gordon? I mean, the wrestler of all time. Is there room for uh, another picture there? I think there's quite enough on it, don't you, Gordon? <laughs> Interesting point. Barbarian come in here and disrupt the thing of beauty. I come out here, I come out here to introduce this beautiful film. And he comes dancing and prancing, you can think. As far as he's concerned, what are you talking about? Don't do that. How dare you? You want to be fat with black teeth like the rest of those six harimis got or whatever you want to call it? What are you talking about? I'll tell you something here and now. And as for these things, as for these Here and now, I'm so disgusted, it isn't true. You... Mm.